YouTube Valley community, Beach Boys fans, random people on the internet. My name is Giggins, and we're here today to talk about the Beach Boys 1986 release, 25 years of good vibrations, the Beach Boys Sun Kiss 25th anniversary tour rolls right off the tongue. This is something I've looked for for years. It's available online everywhere. You can find it on Discogs for like six bucks, but that's no fun. It's, it's fun to go out to the store and see what pops up. So, very excited to finally have come across this thing. It's just a cool little set. From what I can learn about this thing, it was a mail order only uh, release. It may have been available at the shows, but for, I guess most people mail ordered this thing back in the day. Um, so it was sponsored by Sunkiss, their 25th anniversary tour, which these days sounds like a million years ago, but I guess it was, you know, 1986. So, long time ago, but Sunkiss at this point had been using good vibrations in their, uh, their um, commercial jingles for years at this point. They were a huge Beach Boys fan. <laughs> Sunkiss, the soda. There's just one can of soda, and it was a big Beach Boys fan, and it decided that it wanted to make Good Vibrations its theme song, and that's what it did. So, yeah, um, I think it's cool. I think you think the sun, you think the Beach Boys, you think soda, you think summertime, you think going out with your friends, hanging out at the beach, going to the pool, having some soda, Sunkiss, Beach Boys. Hey, hey, perfect, man. Um, but the reason why I enjoy this a lot is because of the track listing here. It really focuses on the new, the now. It doesn't it's got a couple of oldies for good measure, but overall, it really takes place in the present, which I find fascinating. It's one of the only times in the Beach Boys career post seventy five where it's like, let's just focus on what's happening right now for a compilation set. Um, that doesn't exist in the Beach Boys world. It's always like, here's fourteen thousand old songs you've heard a million times, and like maybe get you back or definitely Kokomo. But this is cool, so. You get Rock and Roll to the Rescue, you get California Dreamin', you get Runaway, boom, 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 three new tracks. Awesome. Brand new tracks, first time hearing them, this is cool. Uh, then you get Get You Back on the second side, and also the Beach Boys Melody, or Medley, which I think is pretty fun too, but um, this must have come out like right before Made in the USA, because it mentions Capitol putting out a two album set in the liner notes inside this thing, so this must have come out in May or early June of um 86 right before, right as their tour was really kicking off for that year so um this was also the tour that at the very end um you know people i guess could have mailed in and then won tickets to go see them in hawaii for their 25th anniversary show that's also where brian showed off um spirit of rock and roll for the first time um and that was actually shown that whole concert was shown on tv in early 87 i think in march of 1987 so it took a little while to get out but um very, very cool. He also started working on the very early parts of what would become his solo album around this time. So, interesting time to be a Beach Boys fan. But yeah, Rock and Roll to the Rescue at number 68 on the charts. Um, when Made in the USA came out, hit number 96. California Dream hit number 57. So, top 100 tracks from the guys. And, you know, just it's a solid set of them now. I think that's really cool. So, here's a picture of them. It's the back cover of Beach Boys 85 there. Um... But I really, really dig it. Um, the inside is very cool because the booklet is, is huge. One thing I do find interesting is that even though this is released through Capitol, um, the record label mentions, I don't think it mentions Capitol at all. Oh, it does a little bit. But um, it's mostly just Brother Records, which has not been seen like that since like Smiley Smile. Um, very cool to see just Brother Records on the label there. Let's flip that around. Yeah, that's really cool. Just a bright orange, sun-kissed orange center label there. And the book is cool. It, it just details and chronicles everything the Beach Boys had done up until that point and basically just showcases them as America's bands near summertime. Fun in the sun group of guys and the back cover is really nice. A bit of a then and now picture. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, obviously, you know, David Marks isn't in the picture, and Denny's not in the bottom one either, but um, very cool to see how they grew, and they lost their surfboard at one point. Um, mostly black and white on the inside, but lots of text, lots of pictures on the side. Definitely a couple of typos here, uh, but, you know, things happen. Some nice shots. This is a good picture of Al playing an SG. Look at that. Oh, can you see that? There we go. He's playing a Gibson SG guitar. He's not playing a Fender, which I thought was pretty interesting. That was kind of a cool shot. 
that must have been 63 at some point when he first came back in the band. Um, and basically there's pictures of the times. So there's like, you know, the war in Vietnam, the Beach Boys on Rolling Stone for the first time, the moon landing, you know, stuff that happened. Um, you know, it talks about the Beach Boys as a band in the 60s, their, you know, their lack of popularity in the late 60s, their comeback in the 70s, if you will, with uh, 15 big ones, and then eventually the stuff in the 80s where here they are playing, you know, in D.C. at the National Mall, you know, to a, a bajillion people out there. Um, and then the best part, you get these updated mug shots of the guys at the end, which is, I think, great. Just the, and that picture of Carl is not up to date. That's got to be 1980 or 81. It's an old picture of him. But the rest of the top, the top four up there, those are current pictures of that time. So I think that's an interesting little setup there too. But, um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to go into too much detail because I've talked about most of these songs elsewhere. I mean, you know, you got the older stuff on here, California Girls, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Good Vibrations and Fun, Fun, Fun. Four of their biggest songs are on here, which I think is a nice addition. It shows that, um... You know, they're all their stronger stuff. It didn't resort too much on the old surf stuff beyond the Beach Boys medley, which has a couple of older ones on there. But um, the biggest surprise, and I think the biggest reason why you'd want to pick this up is for Runaway, which has been made available since. But it's really cool to have that version of Runaway on here because they do an excellent job with it. If they, they Beach Boyify it so well. This is a song they used to do in the 60s all the time. This song was backed in their early days when they were just, you know, on tour, 64, 65, 66. This would be a part of their set list, but hearing it now in the early 80s, I think when this was recorded, it was 1983 when they recorded this. Um, so they had it laying around for a couple of years there, but excellent. Al nails the lead vocal just as he did 20 years earlier when they were doing it live in the early days of the Beach Boys. Um, and the background vocals, they make, they make it fun. They make it kind of funky, kind of Beach Boys-ish, but still retain the, you know, 50s-ish version of the track itself. Um... Really enjoy that a lot. That's worth the price of admission alone, but it's just an interesting set list. I mean, it's cool to have new songs on here. Three in a row. The first three. Rock and Roll to the Rescue, California Dream, and a Runaway. Boom. All 1986 releases. Really cool. Uh, and then get you back on the second side. It's a really promoted them as a new band. Not, not a new band, but a current band that still has something to prove. You know, so you got what? One, two, three, four... Yeah, so four out of the nine songs on here are new songs. Uh, so half the album is them now, which, you know, for 25th anniversary tour program special like this thing, I think it makes it that much more special that they really focus on like, hey, here's where we're at right now. You don't get that ever again on any of the Beach Boys release after this. There's never a focus on the now. Um, it just doesn't happen. So it's very cool and something I'm really proud to have in my collection now. But, that, I mean, that's about it. I, didn't, I don't think it charted anywhere because it was kind of a mail order thing. But um, I, I, I would like to know who picked the songs. Was it the Beach Boys themselves? Was it Sunkiss? Was it Capitol? They weren't even on Capitol at that point. They were on CBS, I think. Yep. Um, so who was behind this? Like, I, there's, you know, obviously, it says manufactured by Capitol Records, which is interesting because... A lot of these songs aren't done through, well, Made in the USA was. Hmm. Well, I'm apparently getting myself confused here as I'm talking about this live on camera. So, I'd like to be just as confused as you guys in the description box and the links below. There's no links. It's the comment section. This video is falling apart real quick. But, um, <laughs> coming back, it's a cool set. What do you guys think of it? Let's get talking about it. And I'm... Now that I'm looking at the different labels and stuff, CBS, Capital, Sunkist is, you know, promoting this thing. There was also clothing that came out at that time. There were gym shorts and tennis balls and stuff that had the Beach Boys logo on it. Um, the, Beach Boys had the Beach Boys Sunkist logo, like that was on it, like the front cover. So, it must have been an interesting time to be a Beach Boys fan. I, I was not alive yet, so I couldn't tell you, but... Um, yeah, that's it. This is a long, rambly video about something that doesn't have much to say about it beyond that it existed and for a short period of time, and that was it. Um, you know, Sunkiss is still around, and so are the Beach Boys. I guess they had a good pairing there, so that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. 10 out of 10. Hands down, 10 out of 10. It's a perfect album. Every song on it's great. Um, and the packaging is cool. I like the booklet. I like the picture on the back. It's just a nice little setup. I like having it in my collection. That's it. My name is Giggins. This has been a long rambling video. I'm so sorry. 
Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Beach Boys Sunkiss 20 year, 5 years of good vibrations. It's the Beach Boys Sunkiss 25th anniversary tour. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.